Hey guys, it is Friday, which means I've got five of this week's best gaming related stories all ready to go for you. Here's what matters. Peter Molyneux had a really crappy week this week, and if you missed it, here are the cringy clip notes. His company, 22Can, seems to be having trouble with a number of staff leaving, both involuntarily and those who've decided to move away from Goddess to other products. Then it became apparent that 22Can is unlikely to be able to fulfill its Goddess Kickstarter promises, such as producing a Linux version and implementing multiplayer. If all that wasn't bad enough, the winner of his last game, Curiosity, who was supposed to get this grand prize in Goddess and a cut of its profits, has said he's received nothing from the company in the near two years since he chopped out that tiny last digital cube. Super not cool, super awkward, Molyneux said he's working to rectify it. Titanfall 2 is in the news again this week and it's being strongly suggested that the next entry may not be Xbox exclusive on consoles. Although still officially unannounced, EA CFO Blake Jorgensen has said, quote, We'll probably have another Titanfall game. It will probably be a bigger footprint than just a single platform. I think that's a huge positive for us. Jorgensen also said he hopes EA will deliver at least one new FPS every year. With Battlefield Hardline and Star Wars Battlefront this year, Battlefield 5 or whatever it'll be called next year, and perhaps Titanfall 2 in 2016. And now it's the middle bit of my show, which means free stuff time, and your allocated free stuff for this week is PS4 Online Multiplayer for the weekend. Sony are having themselves a free weekend for anybody with a PS4 who is keen on checking out the multiplayer bits in their games, but doesn't have a PS Plus subscription. You'll be able to play online as much as you want from February 13 through to February 16, because who the hell needs Valentine's Day when you can kill off your friends on the internet? net. A swatter, that is an individual who trolls emergency services and calls in fake incidents to SWAT teams, could be facing up to five years in prison. The superbly crappy act of terrifying someone by calling armed emergency personnel on them has landed 19-year-old Brandon Wilson with a raided home on suspicion of multiple swatting incidents. Wilson was coincidentally arrested at the same time that a live streamer fell victim to a swatting hoax, wherein his younger brothers had guns pulled on them. Summary time! Swatting needs to stop. It's expensive, cruel, dangerous and illegal. Finally today, EA has said they reckon tablets could be more powerful than consoles by 2018. Personally, I barely even game on my phone, but EA's Blake Jorgensen has said, What gets us the most excited is the power, the computing power of mobile devices, and the speed at which that's growing. What that might mean is that a tablet, three or four years from now, has more power than what a typical console has. And that will open up a whole new set of people to console-style games that are much more immersive, much deeper, much more character-driven than simply a static mobile game game that you might play for a small burst of time while you're waiting for the bus. Let me know down in the comments if you game on your phone or tablet and if you reckon those devices can surpass consoles. This week on site, check out my GIST episode on Evolve featuring a guest host and bloopers. Lucy explains what's not so compelling about Telltale's Game of Thrones and Danny talks the crappiness of DLC on the point. That is everything that I have for you this week, but be sure to have yourselves a lovely weekend, whether you'll be celebrating Valentine's Day, playing video games, or whatever else. I'll catch you again on Monday.